Okay, this is uh, my take on the Mac versus PC versus Linux debate. Uh, bottom line, they all have pros and cons. Uh, I just want to talk about those for a couple of minutes. And I'm going to go through OS X, Windows, Linux, and I'm going to try to answer the question which is better. We'll start off with Mac OS X. OS X's primary advantage, I think, is that it's very stable, and that's because it owes its heritage to BSD Unix, which uh, has a long history of being used on multiple platforms. If you're like me, you went to college in the early to mid 90s, you had a shell account on, on the campus mainframe, chances are pretty good you were using BSD. Uh, what Apple did was they took, when BSD went somewhat uh, open source, uh, Apple licensed uh, that kernel, or bought the kernel. Uh, they uh, built a new uh, that they they built a new a graphical operating system around it. At, uh, overall, they came up with a very good, very stable operating system. Uh, its stability is also due to the fact that Apple controls the hardware and the software environment. They can take the time to ensure that any new hardware that they put in their product is going to work with the software and they can tweak that software to ensure uh, seamless compatibility between the two. Also because of its Unix heritage, OS X is extremely secure and extremely stable. Uh, it's also has some security advantage due to the fact that it does have a relatively smaller market share the, uh, compared to the dominant platform that's out there. So the malware and the, and the virus writers uh, don't really spend a whole lot of time uh, trying to uh, screw up uh, an OS X system. Now on the downside, uh, there's a limited software library uh, that, that runs natively on OS X. Uh, the software that's out there understand is extremely good, uh, especially the professional video editing type stuff. And this con is mitigated by the fact that OS X is the only, or that a Macintosh is the only platform that you can run Mac OS X or Windows or Linux on. So uh, because of that, arguably OS X has, the, or, or a Macintosh computer has the widest availability of software, but natively, natively on OS X, they are limited. And then the final factor is cost. Your average Macintosh PC is going to cost more than your average Windows-based PC. Now, when and you start looking at component, uh, component per component, and you compare a Mac, say, against a Dell, and you uh, and you put uh, comparable components in each, a Macintosh computer does become competitive. However, if you're on a budget, uh, Macintosh is probably going to be out of your price range. Moving on to Windows. Windows' biggest advantage is a software library. Just about everybody who writes software write software for Windows. It's the dominant platform out there it makes economic sense for them to do that. Uh, also hardware vendors. Uh, you know when NVIDIA comes out with a new video card for example or uh, someone comes out with a new webcam or uh, what have you they make sure that they write a driver that is uh, compatible with the current version of Windows that's out there. Uh, cost, again, uh, advantage probably go, has to go to the, the Windows PC because you can you can buy a personal computer from Windows uh, that runs Windows all the way up and down the uh, the, uh, the 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 price spectrum from uh, 
you know, from a $3,000 gaming rig from Alienware all the way down to a $299 uh, netbook computer. Uh, so I think cost is definitely an advantage when it comes to, win uh, to a Windows PC. Security. Windows has taken a beating for this, uh, partly because it's due to their overall security model that's built into the operating system, and partly it's because it's so dominant as a desktop operating system that that's where uh, that's the low-hanging fruit for the uh, virus and malware writers. And in overall stability. Now, this is where I'm going to contradict myself a little bit. Although I, I gave the advantage to Windows in hardware support, sometimes, uh, this is something that Microsoft is known for, they'll push out a patch or an operating system update or maybe even an office update, you know, one of their uh, one of their programs that might, can, that can break a, a hardware driver that you already have. So that kind of that that hurts it in the stability department. Also, uh, they'll put out recommended uh, hardware requirements for. Uh, to run, say, Vista Ultimate with all the eye candy and the aerial interface, that in reality, if you try to run all of that on a on a computer with those specifications, it's not going to work very well. So that's uh, and anybody who's ever had a, a blue screen of death uh, knows the headaches that go on with uh, uh, that can go on with the Windows operating system. Although that has gotten much, much better as as they have uh, as they have improved the operating system, and, and Microsoft has improved the operating system. Which, that being said, brings me to Linux. Now, the primary advantage that I see Linux is cost. You can get a Linux distribution for nothing other than the cost of the bandwidth to download it uh, from the internet. Uh, and it's also free in the other sense in that it's unencumbered. Uh, you don't have, unlike Windows, unlike Mac OS X, Linux doesn't come with any end user license agreement that restricts on, that restricts you on how many copies that you can of it you can make, how many computers you can install it on. So it's free in that sense as well. Security. Because Linux is basically a, a clone of Unix, it has a superior security model to say Windows. Uh, arguably it, its extremely minuscule market share means that uh, not too many virus or malware writers waste their time trying to uh, crack, uh, uh, trying to compromise uh, the Linux OS. Uh, because it's open source and because lots and lots of people work on it, any bugs that are in the system are found, usually found and remediated extremely quickly, which leads to its overall uh, stability. Uh, now the software library, this can be a pro, this can be a con. It's a pro in the fact that there is tons of software out there written for Linux. And there, there's a lot of software that is a direct replacement for proprietary software. Uh, admittedly not as powerful as the proprietary software that it replaces, but for the most part, average user 